Last September, I went to see my specialist because I'd been experiencing a whole lot of um, abdominal pain and I was diagnosed with um, an ovarian cyst. He wanted to wait for a little bit to see what would happen and just find out whether it would go away or not, which um, it didn't. The pain got a lot worse. We don't have to accept what the doctors tell us to be fact, to be true, to be reality, um, because we have a God that is so much greater than that, and we have a God who, who can heal you. And I'd been in different times of my life where I'd just been literally sitting in the presence of God and He had healed me of different things. Uh, but because of the pain that I'd been experiencing for so long, it really played with my mindset and it was taking a toll on, on my positive attitude. After the ultrasound was done, I, the pain got worse and so I was on painkillers probably um, every four hours. I'd had friends and family praying for me in the meantime. Uh, he sent me off to have a second ultrasound done. So the ultrasound showed that the cyst had actually grown, it had got bigger. And so he was going to um, plan surgery for me. He also felt that um, the ovary might actually be diseased, so he was going to do like exploratory surgery. It just so happened that that afternoon, um, Jenny Cornish and Neil Dowling came over to see us and we just happened to mention that I needed to go into hospital and have this done, so they prayed for me. From the moment they prayed for me, I experienced no pain. Um, the pain just completely stopped. And so the next week, I went in to have surgery. He removed the ovary. The next, the next thing I knew, I was back in his office a couple of days later, and he was telling me that there had been evidence of the ovary being swollen but it was so healthy that he just put everything back as it was and that was it. There was, there was nothing, there was no cysts, there was, there was nothing. It was completely normal. And he said, I was holding it in my hand and he said it was just perfectly healthy. <laughs> and so that was really good because I had the opportunity of telling him that I'd had my friends and my family pray for me and so it was a witness to him of the healing power of God. A couple of days later I went back to see my um, my own GP and I was telling him the story and he said that's really unusual because he never gets it wrong and I'm just thankful because God always gets it right. <laughs>